In this video, I'm going to take you through fixing skin tone in Photoshop Elements. We're working from fixingskintone.psd, which is found within your project files folder within chapter 12. The first thing you'll notice when you open this file is that the subject here, or the girl, is looking rather sunburnt, looking very orange and red. Now this can be quite a common occurrence, especially if you're taking photos in the incorrect color profile from your camera. So to correct this, we can do a hue and saturation adjustment. If I come to the layers panel and choose the little adjustments icon, you'll notice down the middle here, I have hue and saturation. I'm gonna select that now. You'll see I have a new hue and saturation adjustment layer that's appeared within the layers panel. And I also have the hue and saturation dialog that's just appeared on the screen. I'm gonna bring this a little bit closer to the subject. Now, if I wanna correct any really red skin tones, all I need to do is go to the edit menu and choose either reds or yellows. In this case, we're gonna try both. To start with, I'm gonna choose reds. That's usually the best starting point. So now that I'm in reds, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take back the saturation of the reds. Because there's no other red areas within the photo, nothing else will be affected. So I'll take this back, and already that's looking a whole lot more natural. You can see the teeth are quite yellow, which is just an indication that the yellows need to be adjusted as well. So I'm gonna choose yellows. I'll take back the saturation slider of the yellows, and you can see those teeth are looking a whole lot better now. If I move the dialog to the side, and then just do a quick before and after preview by selecting the little preview check here, you can see that has made the world of difference. While I'm at it, why not go back to the blues and just saturate those as well. And now you can see, if I don't go too far, that I've now enhanced this image quite nicely while retaining the skin tones. I'll press OK to that. I'll do another before and after. I'm quite happy with that result. And that really is your best option when you're trying to back off some sunburnt or red looking skin tones. 